channel. My name is Alaris and I am the owner, founder, and creator of Janae Rose. And on this channel is where I share my entire bath, body, and home fragrance product making with you. Today we're going to be talking about soaping with citric acid. And in case you're wondering why would we want to soap with citric acid, is soaping with citric acid absolutely necessary? And are there actual benefits from soaping with citric acid? So let's break that down for you now. When combined with sodium hydroxide and cold processed soap, citric acid becomes sodium citrate. And sodium citrate is a water softener. So that reduces soap scum, spoilage, and dreaded orange spots in your soaps. Also, once citric acid becomes sodium citrate, that also helps soften your water. So if you're in an area that has hard water, you may notice that it's harsh on your skin. Once that citric acid softens that water, that helps provide extra hydration to your skin as well. Citric acid also slows down that saponification reaction, also making it longer for you to reach trace. And this can be very beneficial if you're working with fast accelerating fragrance oils. Citric acid is also known to be good if you're soaping with oils that are high in linoleic or linoleic acids, such as hemp seed oil, grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil. These oils are prone to rancidity and dreaded corn spots. So those are just a few benefits of soaping with citric acid. So now let's get into the math of citric acid. It's recommended that your citric acid be 1-2% to 2 of your oil weight. And for my loaf and my recipe that I'm using today, my oil weight is about 1,360 grams. And I'm only going to use 1% to represent that citric acid. So that's about 13.6 grams of citric acid that I'm going to add to my recipe. However, for every 10 grams of citric acid that you add to your recipe, you should add an additional six grams of lye solution because the citric acid will eat away at your lye. So for my recipe, that's going to be about an additional 8.17 grams of lye that I'm going to have to add to my recipe. So now that we've gone over the math, let's get to making this soap. First things first, before you even get started, let's practice soap safety. Lye is caustic and you want to make sure that you don't get any lye in your eye. So when soaping, always make sure that you wear your eye protection, gloves, and it's best to soap with long sleeves as well. If you don't wanna wear long sleeves, you can purchase these arm covers, and I got these from Amazon, which I'll also post in that description box below. The first thing that we wanna do is when we're adding our citric acid to this recipe, we're going to add it to our distilled water, and we're gonna make sure that it's 100% dissolved before we add our lye. Now I'm choosing to lay out my citric acid in a separate container. Now let's add our citric acid to our distilled water. And let's give that a good stir until it's completely dissolved. It looks like our citric acid is completely dissolved. So I'm going to separately measure my lye, and then I'll add my lye to my distilled water and citric acid. Now let's add our lye to our citric acid and water. And I usually give this a real, I usually stir this for several minutes because I want to make sure that all of my lye is completely dissolved. And while my lye solution is cooling down, I'm going to measure my hard oils and butters and I'm going to get those melting using the double boil method. And 
And in a separate container, I'm going to measure out all of my liquid oils. I like to scoop out a little bit of my olive oil and put them in a smaller container because I dilute my colorant with the olive oil. It gives you a much smoother and blended and uniform color. And now I'll finish adding the rest of my liquid oils. and my lye solution both roughly around 100 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm ready to start making this soap. to check on my whipped soap base and I'm glad I did because look because it started bubbling just a little bit too much this is a surfactant anionic surfactant and I've been working on a couple of different recipes and I think I've figured it out this time and if this foaming whip base turns out how I think it's going to I cannot wait to share this with you guys on my patreon So the game is over. My princess's basketball team won. And now I'm going to cut the soaps that I made this week. And this is the first soap that I made. I haven't even named it yet, but it has a um, gingerbread man, gingerbread house, cinnamon, nutmeg type fragrance to it. <laughs> Remember what I said at the beginning of the video about how citric acid slows down the saponification reaction? Well, this was tested and true. 
I ended up waiting three whole days before I could even think about cutting into my soap. And that's fine with me. I figure this would give us a little bit of behind the scenes time together. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. pleased how these soaps turned out. I mean, look at that swirl design, that turquoise in white, and it really, really matches this frosted juniper fragrance blend. I think I'm just really in love with the swirls. I like it. I really, really like it. So. I can't wait to post these on the website. However, I'm curious at how long it's gonna take for these soaps to really cure. It's usually four to six weeks, but since I use citric acid and that slowed down the saponification process, I don't know if that's going to make my cure time increase as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've ever soaked with citric acid and how that's turned out for you and with your curing time as well, and how that also helped with your fast accelerating fragrance oil, if that's what you chose. But I'm going to put these babies aside and let them cure. I wanna give a shout out to all my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I'm sorry the citric acid video took a little bit longer than I expected, but I'm gonna have that posted up soon. So thank you all for your patience. If you wanna try soaping with citric acid, especially this particular recipe, that's gonna be posted on my Patreon, which is also in the description box below. Please give me a huge thumbs up if you like this content and please hit that notification and subscribe button so you can be notified anytime I post new content. Until next time, bye guys.